I see Facebook is making some changes while we're on the air. They've been doing some different stuff. Right. Uh, so what's up to y'all? Good afternoon, Bijou. How are you doing? Good afternoon, Kenya Brown. How you doing? I'm doing well. Doing good? Yep. That's what's up. How's everybody's day going? Hopefully everybody's day is going just well. <laughs> I mean, the sun is shining and nice day to get some fresh air. Go yeah, outside yeah. on your porch, you know. On your porch. Well, walk down. You can walk down the street, right? Yeah, I've seen people taking walks huh. up the street. You walk in the park. Yeah, something like that. You and me, girl. Woo! As long as you stay away from people. Yeah. I saw that. Uh, Euclid Creek was booming Sunday. Pretty sure to be jumping again this weekend. But people were pretty much staying away. Yeah. You could tell. It was like, mm -hmm. My kids have been having fun in the yard. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kicking it. That's what's up. We used to, I remember, man, going outside was the stuff. Yes. Go outside with your friends? What? But you know, here, kids don't do that no more. No. They play video games. All day, yeah. and they okay with it. My kids want to be outside. Man, that's oh man. good. Your kids want to be outside. I just have to sit there in the car and watch them because <laughs> it's cold still. Yeah. Well, y'all check it in at man. Let us know what the deal is. What part of town y'all checking in? We're going to read this letter in just a bit. Let's dive into that letter. All right. Dear Sam, my boyfriend is going through, through a divorce, and his wife is giving him hell. They have been going back and forth for two years now, and she won't sign the papers. He wants us to move on as much as possible, so he moved in with me. But unfortunately, I get to witness the messiness of this divorce process up and up close and personal now that he's living with me. His wife called me the other day and told me she was going to make my life hell and she will never allow us together to be together in peace because she thinks I was cheating with her husband before they separated, but I wasn't. I believe he loves me and wants to marry me when this is all over. But do you think if we all sat down together and talked this oh, issue no, she, uh, she has with me out, that it might help our situation and allow her to let go so we can move on? Or should I continue to be the innocent bystander sitting on the sidelines? You need to tell him to get his own crib. Mm. It just here got to stop. And uh, until he take care of that business. Mm -hmm. She told you. When the crazy woman tell you, <laughs> I ain't about to let y'all enjoy y'all stuff together. You got me messed up. You best believe her. You better believe Come on. it. Come that on. She is going to make your life a living hell. You better believe it. She don't give a damn if you the new one. You just, you know, she's still in love with this guy. She's still hurt. She's scorned. And then you want to say, when this is all said and done, I, you know, I think he wants to marry me. No, you're just a safety place right now for him to lay his head and him to get some convenient booty. 
Mm. Now I ain't saying that he probably don't, you know, like you. But most, 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 most people who are, uh, they still married and they live with somebody, they ain't trying to get married right, just like that. Right. They ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got the, he ain't, he ain't got no divorce yet. Oh, the, the, what'd you say? Do they give him a divorce? Well. I mean, the wife don't want to give him one? Yeah. They've been going through this for two years. So the question is, and why y'all quarantine? Pick up a copy of Silk's book. It's called, Is It Them? Is It Me? It's available on Amazon. <laughs> In this case, this would be you. It's not him. Because you are the one. You, you, you're free. No kids. No nothing. And then you're going to allow this to come into your life? Come on now. Nothing? And I'm not saying, now let me say this. I'm not saying that what he's saying mm-hmm. ain't legit. I'm just saying this ain't going to work for you the way you want to. Right. Sure ain't right. Now, if yeah. you built for, for BS and you just like drama and drama excites you, then you go right ahead. But it is what it is. You need to wait. Even if you're going to still see the man, don't let him live with you. Yeah. And how the hell are you going to sit down with all three of them? You, he married. What the hell you got to say about it? I know the lady crazy. You just saw the crazy side. And people would be good for that. Oh, see, look. See, look. I told you she's crazy. Look. Listen. Don't you say nothing, but listen. She was, I told you she was crazy. Yeah. And then you feel special because he let you listen. So you think like you you got the upper hand. Right. Yeah, you ain't got the upper hand. That's just to keep you at bay. Yep. Keep my crib good so I got a place to lay. What I'm trying to understand is, did he move straight from his house with his wife? To her house? Is that what she's trying to say? No, it don't sound like it. Sound like he was a, he kind of met her on the way, and then he moved right on in. Hmm. I don't know. I yeah. mean, he's still married, so how is how is how is he your boyfriend? Right. Well, you just right. you know. Right, because she said his wife called. Like, wait a minute. Right. Well, you referring to her as wife as well? Child, yeah. please. Can we all just talk to kids? What do you think we just have a meeting? Let me tell you something. Yeah, she ain't never... Mm, okay. But, that okay. Be a, a talk. So, if you're not... If you're not planning on... Um, if you're not planning on staying in your marriage and you separate, can you date? Can you can you date? What's the question again? If you're, if you're not going to stay in your marriage, mm-hmm. can you date? Can you date someone else if you know that you're not going to be with that person that... It's well, basically well, just paperwork. You, you shouldn't, but let me tell you, you have to say that to the person you that that you want to do this with. They need to know everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't suggest it, but if that's what you do, I would say I'm more concerned about the other person, the person that's not married. So the person that's not married, they need to ask themselves the question: Are you okay with dating somebody? who is still married, don't live with them. They separated and don't have the papers mm-hmm. because they can always go right back home sure can. tomorrow. Yeah. And she crazy on top of that, please. So, you know, I wouldn't suggest it. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? You have, you got people who who deal with their baby daddy, baby mama, and they go back to them and they ain't even married. Right. So here it is. You got a whole marriage jumping off. And she calling you to let you know, I'm going to make your life hell, bitch. <laughs> Why does she have her number? Do you understand number? me, bitch? No. That's, that's what she's saying. Me. You know you know she had to say that. Right. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> hell, you think you just going to take my whole husband? Mm. I don't care if you the new bitch. Mm-mm. Ooh, goodbye. He would have to go. His bags would have been on the porch that day. You go on and figure your life out and just get back with me once you figure it out and handle your business because you are bringing chaos into my life and I don't need it. We'll get back together if it's meant to be. Yeah, I ain't got time for that, huh, can you? Period. Come on. Period. No time. Come Period. Come on. Come on. Yeah, no. All right, give me a few comments before we go. All right, Nina said, 
Uh, stop reading after the first sentence. If if your boyfriend has a wife, you're already losing. Mm. And Matzo said, do not involve yourself in the chaos. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nina said, okay, I went back and read. Lady, you are not at all an innocent bystander. Please excuse yourself from them people's marriage. Yeah. Yeah, Come he's on. still married. Yeah, Selena said, innocent bystander, OMG girl, are you effing serious? Just because that statement, I agree with the wife, and I would do the exact same thing as her. Second, third, and fourth, you're getting everything you deserve in this situation. Dang. Ooh. Mm. Dang. They don't yeah. have no sympathy for girlfriends. No, they don't. None. <laughs> and Micah said, this is why you shouldn't start something till you finish something. Yeah. All right, you heard it. And hey, y'all share this video. Share with your family and friends. Enjoy the rest of y'all day.